While I'm off being intrepid in the forest and getting scared out of my wits, the ice breaks, the river rises, and my camp starts to flood. Good time. I've just found something really interesting, guys. Yeah, it's not been away that's happened. I've popped some pens, guys. That's what I'm missing already. There's a pot. All right, so the crew have been filming rather than looking after the accoutrements, which may keep me alive. Look at this. With everything moved away from the river, I head back into the forest, this time with the crew. And as I'm walking alone on my own, <laughs> Just to prove that we really are in the wild and we're not actually in Kew Gardens, I came across this. It's a rather large wolf's paw, uh, quite a big beastie. But when I came along earlier this morning, there was a rat nibbling, or what, it was some kind of rodent nibbling on him, on it. But I, as you can imagine, I was on my own, a long, long way from where I should have been. <laughs> so, woke me up. The breaking ice was beginning to worry me. In just a few hours, the river had risen dramatically. As the level continued to rise, my camp was rapidly becoming an island. That is where my fire used to be, in the centre of uh, the picture there. And obviously I moved it back, but as you can see, I didn't move it back far enough. So I'm gonna put the camera down now. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, I think that's about it. <sighs> I hope you're far away enough to see me eat this. But this is the worst filth I've ever had in my life. It is disgusting. It smells as it resembles, like puke. And it's cold. Um, I'm going to have a few more mouthfuls of it, because I know it would do me good. But I've got to say... It's even got peas in it, like puke. I don't know what that's supposed to be me, but it's been stuck in a bag for the last three years, so that is exceptionally bad. But I've got to eat it, partly because I'm starving. Oh, lovely. The sun's up, there she is, and the ice is melting, but that is beautiful. And you know what's really nice about it? The crew haven't turned up <laughs> with their mosquitoes and their rubbish and their moans and their whinges. And also their talk of how many beers they sank last night down at their camp, which is beginning to get to me, I must be honest.